everyone, Char from Char's Fashionation. And what do we got over here on the machine today? Now I know I haven't done a video like this for a while for sewing, but if you saw the video before this one, I am doing a segment called The Sewing Book, which, um, is a list of people that have asked me to sew something for them or I have asked them if they would like something sewn for them. Um, the answer is yes. <laughs> people are like, what size can you make? And I'm like, what size are you? I don't discriminate on size. Isn't that lovely? We don't discriminate on size. Oh, if you're wondering in the background, I have the Disturbed Society playing go check them out. You know, I will leave them in the description here. I'm going to start doing this double now. Like I will leave them up here and I will link them in the description box because YouTube has changed a lot of things again. So I put them in the cards. Um, put a lot of people in cards, but I never read them. Um, <laughs> only read my cards. So Anyway, what we got going on over here is this very lovely, if you guys remember this fabric, let's grab an extra piece from over here. Here we go. If you guys remember this lovely chevron pattern fabric, this is, look, this is big enough to where like that could be a pocket on some, I don't know. Anyway, I just haven't put pockets on these. So I'm making two, wait, no. Yeah, for Mama Big Beauty. Does not look like no plus size. She swears she is. <laughs> I love her. She's so funny. Um, but this one, like I already made one for Jamie. Um, for her uh, to be very comfortable. Apparently she has something in the abdominal area that is extended, so it's hard to get a custom fit clothing instead of cookie cutter. Um, I prefer that people have the lovely um, custom clothing. And the reason I'm going to do all of these a specific way is because I grabbed that fabric. Let's see what's on here. That's the pocket pieces. Okay. Well, at the very bottom of this, let me get you zoomed in here a bit, maybe. Um, is this nice trim at the bottom? So what I've decided to do is make them all go in the same direction of chevron patterning because of that. Could I take four of these and make an extra shirt? Absolutely, I could. I might, you know. That right there is an extra good idea for your scraps of fabric that you can put together and make something else for someone else in a cool size, in a cool fabric, and you don't have to worry about anything going back to a landfill. And isn't that amazing? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and get right into this. Getting right into this, I already have a bit of this already started right here, and I have a really good um, threading, and you know what I mean? If I thread a good bobbin, I make sure that there's enough spun so that it can at least do one to two, possibly three garments. But this, in this case, this can make more than three garments. Why am I doing this at a slant going along? Because this particular one, I have decided to make like this really cool side design on it, kind of like very flowy. Now with this fabric, this fabric has a four-way stretch. In which you may have seen in a fabric haul from Fabric Mart. Now, 
Now, there's all sorts of care and love that goes into fabrics like this. Now, this particular one, because it's a four-way stretch, you can wash this on cold, low tumble dry, and or hang it, or you can wash it by hand and let it air dry. And the only reason that I say that is because this is a mesh fabric. Um, remember, I am so used to uh, sewing without needles. I mean, without needles. Yeah, with the uh, sewing pins. I can do this and not have to worry about it because I already know. That's right, I did not use my scissors. That's right, do not forget you have that. A lot of people say, oh, don't use that, don't use that. No, I implore you to please, like, look, I have scissors right here, but you have this right here for cutting that thread. Don't don't not use it. Does that make any sense to you? Don't not use it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is finish up the other side. And then, and then that's when we will do up the, uh, the neckline and then the armhole. So, Hold on to your tater tots. Now, what sizes might I be sewing today, right? Because I'm sewing up this other side. Um, a size 5X, 6X, and a size 14. Or that would be like a size... Um, medium large for your medium large person. Um, people are people and I love everyone in any size. you are you're still a person to me that's how I think about that and when you're doing this make sure that you have this side correct to that side in which I have done here I'm just double checking that because you want to double check make sure you have everything in its correctness correctness it almost sounds like correctness <laughs> don't need that anal thing get it now right here is your reverse or back stitch now on here it says reverse but this is a, also called a back stitch so like I said just like look take your thread get rid of it okay now we have the sides done I'm going to now take it like this because you want to see back from front, right? Which to me, I already know which side is back. Back to me is the more square area in which I have right here. So what I'm going to do, because I have a new process of this, is like when I fold down the back and go to place this on the machine, I probably just got a big view of my armpit, sorry. <laughs> Laid out like this. Go at least, if you're not doing a half inch, you're going to do an inch. Okay? And then, of course, you're going to do your usual reverse lock that stitch. Now this particular one 
that I'm making right now. This is for Mary of Mary's Makeup and More. For a fellow disabled individual. Um, she is pretty cool. Don't think that anybody wheelchair bound can't succeed in something. Um, I know eventually I will be wheelchair bound again, but I am not going to let that stop me because I can set this to just use it with my knee instead of my foot. Now what I like to do when I semi get to the center of this, back stitch that again, back stitch it again. Not only is that locking that down more, that's also marking, like in case you forget, which I highly doubt anybody will, that that is the back of your shirt. So let me get this neckline done, and then I will do one armhole, and then we will come back with the other one. One moment, please. Now that we are back, and I have done one armhole. I like to make these garments very flowy for a reason. And um, I've got the armhole done, and now we're down to this armhole. And what I like to try to do, if the fabric will lay a specific way, is lay your fabric open right here. And if it doesn't do that, it'll just plop to one side. But since I already have it like that on one side, I'm going to attempt to do this thus again. Um, come on over here. And like I said, you know, one bobbin just for doing these. That actually um, turns out pretty, pretty darn well. Now, try to make sure that you have everything the way it should be laying. And like I said, you could take an inch to a half an inch. You could do that. And since the armpit area, yeah, like that over it. You can just now lock that in place. So let's zoom you on in. And let's get to sewing on this. <laughs> This is what I mean about the fabric. Make sure you have it adjusted properly. If you don't, it's going to do doofy things like slide right on. Me sewing therapy. It so calms me down. A lot of people would be frustrated sewing. Like, I find sewing to be very peaceful. Some people, it might be a bit strange, but to me, it's, it's just, it's just more. So, and so, as long as <laughs> I'm going to throw out sewing puns now. Um, so as long as you like, when you're going along like this, make sure, because this can twist the wrong way, and then you have something weird going on. Um, when it comes down to the curve, like that, make sure it's catchy. Make sure you can see that fabric right under the foot, right in here. My nails kind of match.
I know if you're a beginner, I always say, please use your sewing pins. Yes, please do. I have a bunch of when I lived in Philly roommate story. And one of them worked for Kohl's as a designer. She had to design um, something for a Macy's window, which I was like, wait, you work for Kohl's, but you're designing something for a Macy's? How does that work, right? So she was asking me, and I don't know why they had a young girl that doesn't have kids um, design, um, you know, maternity wear. And she was like, I don't know, have no idea how to do this, so she turned out to be really bougie after, so I mean, I wish her all the best of luck, but when somebody helps you with the design concept for something, don't be bougie. Bougie will come back on you. Now, pay attention to how you, how you fit, how you have your shoulders. Um, so when you go this far, and the other thing I like to do is make sure that if I can, I can line this up and nobody will ever know. Except for you. You could probably wear this inside out and be a super nice. Lining things up. And then you're double checking on this side to make sure you have the same exact width. Because that's what you need to do. Like right there, see that was folded. And I had to check that for a reason so that we can come back over here, lessen the amount of fabric, and it's still there. Because this, oh no, seam ripping on this, uh uh, not gonna happen. Total freaking mess. I like to try to get this done like this. Now at the end of this video I will actually show you the two plus size ones that I have got done. This will be done. So, like I said, you know, I thought about going back to doing a story time. Let me know in the comments below if you would like me to start doing that again. stories, you know, like there's people and then there's people that are actual monsters. True story. True story. I know, I sew real quick, right? Oh, I so can't wait to use the machine over here as soon as I oil it. I have my sewing oil up there, like for my machine. So I should say my machine oil. Um, but it's not <laughs> it's not exactly for sewing. It's for the sewing machine. something's gone weird, just push it with your fingernail. Sometimes that will try to catch on the foot. I had that happen on the other armhole. And had to snip it. It didn't damage it. It's like one thread. All of it. One thread.
just like I said, don't be afraid to use that. A lot of people are cringing right now. They're like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? I'm using something utilitarian. And I still have enough bobbin on here for that third one, which is fabulous. That is totally fabulous. Now that we're done over here, now that we're over here, now I can show you both of these, right? Yes. And then I can really show you that edge. And this is why. Like for Mary, I was going to put it this way. And then I'm like, you know what? We've got this edge on here that I really love, would really love for her to be able to enjoy. So, where's, where's my Death Wish shirt? My Death Wish shirt, my Death Wish tank top is a size 3X. And so I was basically able to take that. Oh, there it is. Um, I was basically able to take my Death Wish shirt and kind of clone it a little bit. So this is size 3X. It is big on me. Um, and I was able to use that for doing a bigger size template. I put this right side out. Yes, I did. Hemline, my friends. You know how I am about my hemline for the sides. Now this one's Mary's. I made this very, very flary for her sides because somebody in a wheelchair, like girl, you need like that swishy. That's the back of it. Isn't that cute? That's cute. Mary, I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is gonna be like super comfortable to wear, super lightweight. The squaring is the back. I put kind of a scooped neck right here. There's no hemline at the shoulder. I did that on purpose. Um, and then this is the one for Jamie. Both of them being plus size gals and lovely, beautiful women. Again, square on the back. Her design is not the same as Mary's, but they are extremely comfortable. Now, do I have enough for Beth, our lovely mama vapes beauty? Oh, absolutely I do. <laughs> absolutely I have more than enough for her to make her a cute tank top out of the rest of this. I mean, this really is not the rest of this. I have this over here and um, putting all the rest of this together, a little scope, sorry. Like, I've been around the cat, the cat has bad danger. Um, putting all the scraps together, I could probably uh, make a child's top or a little child's little garment. It is long. Like I said, um, all I would have to do really, so all those pieces together, I'm wearing a skirt and a shirt that I made, but, um, I was so worried. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just, just in the waistline. I have noticed I've lost weight. My hips are huge. <laughs> I've got a big butt and I cannot lie, but <laughs> my gosh, I'm going to knock this third one out today for Beth from Mama's Babes Beauty. You guys have seen Jamie's. Now, I will link all three of them for this video, just like I did the last one, because I believe that they should be. And of course, I'm going to link the Disturbed Society, because if you like a good spoopy story, Go check them out. And I'm also back in to listening to Let's Read. And I always listen to, uh, <laughs> this is sad. Anyway, Chills, narrator. Listen to him too. He has a very calming voice. So I do listen to them. Um, 
the Skirt Society and I, we've become friends. So they're really cool. Anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. Because I have the rest of this fabric to sew. And I will see you in the next one.